my base routine. This is what involves of my base routine. Um, before starting anything, any foundation, I really like to moisturize my face. So I went in with the CeraVe moisturizer. I've heard like skin prep was important. Skin prep is important. And it really is important. Like it, I like my skin to look just like I'm not wearing anything. And I also do put hyaluronic acid. Is it me or like when I went to the store, I'm coming to find out hyaluronic acid is expensive, but it really does work. And I do brush my eyebrows, but like the only product I use is Eco Gel, and I don't use other products beside that to make them look darker or to shade them in. And there are like eyebrow products for your eyebrows to stay in place, but I just go in with some Eco Gel, honestly. Like since I already have it, might as well just use it for that. Sometimes I go in and just put equal gel at the ends of my eyebrows and sometimes I put it all over just to stick and stay in place depending what kind of shape I want to be honest. So most of my primers that I use are e.l.f. and this one, the Power Grip primer, a lot of people talked about it and yes it does work it's really it really i'm dead i'm like mm, let me try not this okay it's it is sticky it really is i've heard that different primers don't mix with certain foundations so honestly i don't know if the foundation that i use does mix with my primer maybe that's the problem but I went in with the Super Stay foundation. Uh, this foundation does really work. Like, it's really good. This time, now that I'm looking back at my video, it looks like I've applied, I've applied more foundation than I do, honestly. But I apply it with this brush and I just evenly spread it on my face. I've seen other people put it in with, like, this spatula thing. And I might do that too, like, you know. It looks like um, something I might do. But yeah, um, I usually put it where my face is mostly red. And then if it blends out somewhere else, it blends out somewhere else. But this is what I've been doing. But I'm still trying to perfect, um, you know, my techniques and how to look at most skin-like. If you guys have some recommendations let me know but yeah like look at me brushing or like blending it with the real techniques brush i don't even know if like it's uh the best method but this is how i blend it and before i did go in with like beauty sponges and sometimes occasionally i go back to beauty sponges but i've been liking brushes recently and yeah i really i really do like this uh brush to blend my foundation also though with this foundation um i think it does like dry down faster i don't know what it is like i don't know if it's like i don't even know if it's matte honestly but like it just it does stay on your face pretty good like that like, yes, it does work. It says how it is, you know? That makes sense. Um, And then, yeah, I go in with a, another Real Techniques brush, the smaller one. Um, It does come with, like, a package. And, yeah, and I blend um on my nose and below my nose. And then, again, with my, with my e.l.f. brush, um, I go back in in where i see any redness and then i add the tiniest bit of foundation on my forehead i literally like like i said i don't add anything at all
and then again on my forehead if i have a little bit of redness like i said i just add any leftover foundation or the tiniest bit but i'm thinking if it looks kind of weird because i don't know if it just looks like boom like you know in the middle it's just white or like leaves a white cast The thing is with my base and the products that I use, most of them are drugstore and like the only setting spray that I've had from like drugstore products is like the Milani one. But yeah, let me know if you guys know other drugstore setting sprays. Um, here's the thing, some people say that, you know, setting sprays, they don't really do much. I don't know. I think it all just depends on the products, right? For my concealer, um, I went in with the Morphe Hide and Peak, and I actually recently bought it, so I don't know if it's, mm, you know, I'm still kind of like, does it work? Do I like it? So with any concealer, it doesn't matter what it is, what I do is I go in with my brush and I um, blend it evenly because, you know, my goal is for it to not look cakey. And for me, I feel like, I think it works. You know, I'm like, I think it works. It's, it's working. I don't know. Also, I go back in to see if I have any redness still. And I go in with my concealer again. And yeah, I really do like this brush load. It's really, um, it's really, <laughs> it works. It basically, it works. As for my contour, I go in with anything that is liquid or cream, except I don't have any cream contour products, which I do want. Again, if you guys know any products, let me know in the comments down below. Please, though. And if the drugstore as well. Because, like, when I go to the drugstore, I literally, I can't find any contour products and or like any blush products and i love blush but yeah this is a elf camo concealer so i'm pretty sure it's not even meant to be contour but um i'm using it as a contour um so what i do okay so i do have a technique for this i did come up with a technique or literally it's, it's me hearing from other people because at the beginning I used to not contour, right? And I used to be like, oh my god, how do I contour? And so, I literally just, like, stay in one place and, con and, like, blend it and then slowly work my way around it, if that makes sense. Yeah, just try it out. Um, as the same thing for my blush. I do love blush. This is a Milani Cream Blush. And I use the technique that I use for my contour but for my blush I don't really mind it could be powder cream I just love blush in general but the thing is when I go to the store no blush to be found but I do love this color it's really pretty I used to not put blush on my nose, but I also do put the tiniest, I don't even think it's tiny, honestly. I don't even know. But I do put blush on my nose as well, because it's, it's cute. Look. For some reason, like, putting powder on my base after I'm finished, it's like so satisfying to me. But I went in with a Wet n Wild powder, and I 
try not to use too much like i use the tiniest bit and then just spread it evenly and then after i finish contour i do the same technique i literally i carve it out but the thing is i do add a little bit more products but then like it slowly like it how do you say it, it takes off what's the right word um as like i don't even know where it goes honestly by the end like it's like i do add products but then it's not really there i don't think that makes sense as for my under eyes i go ahead and, and blend before i set it and um yeah sometimes i add more powder than usual sometimes i don't but i end up removing it right away so it doesn't look cakey but yeah i use this more fluffier brush it's by real techniques just like their whole brush collection yeah it's good carve out my eyebrows i go in with again with the morphe hide and peek and um i do this like i i just put the concealer right under and then i go ahead and carve them out literally just like that i don't know i've been doing this for a while now like i don't know but maybe i should try to elevate my eyebrows a little bit more not elevate or like Maybe change it up a little bit. I don't know. I've been doing this for a while. I don't fill them in. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I feel like eyebrows are kind of hard for me to do. But at the same time, like I like how they look like that. So if I'm satisfied, then that's... You know, that's nice. That's cool. And I do like to put a little bit of highlight on the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. Um... And also on my eyebrow bones and what's it called? That thing right there. And then um, and then on my inner corners. But when I'm highlighting, I think like pink highlights or um, silver highlights are my thing. I think it's they're really cute. Then I use this liner, which I like because I can smudge, and if I mess up, I can fix it. Because for like for me personally, I really don't know how to do liner, but I always want to do like something with my eyes, you know. So I really like this, and I really like that it's brown too. Now I'm just lining my lips by this NK makeup liner. Honestly, I don't even know where I bought it. The butter gloss by NYX, like all of them, I really like honestly, <laughs> but I only have two of them. But I do like all the shades, well, the ones that I've seen in the store. Just taking off my Hello Kitty clips, and that was my base, my base routine. <laughs> 